Hey, it's John Wall here of Walltech. I have my prototype right here. When you press the side button, the uh, little test code I've got running uh, shows up. Um, I'll press again once it, it does its little loop. But um, the bars come in from the sides. You can check the other video that I made uh, to see the full animation of that because it's not going to show up here with the contrast on my uh, bench here. But um, the background is user selectable. Um, these individual font um, digits are uh, stored on the SD card and then I've written a method to display them on the screen. Little icons I've done in Photoshop and um, they're all custom. Um, so right now it's pretty much the form factor it's going to have. Um, I had to prototype with this screen as one I've left over because I mangled the other one with the SD card slot that I need on the front of it. Uh, so I'm waiting for one of those to come in, but um, right now it's, it's looking as, as how it will. Uh, this vibration motor on the bottom is gonna gonna change to where that row of headers is on the bottom, and the battery's gonna scooch up a bit. So uh, I'll have to do that eventually. But um, yeah, this is what it's gonna look like. Uh, here is the concept image. Um, so that's the case that I made for it. That's what it's going to look like. Um, it has a different background here because uh, you can do whichever one you'd like to use. Um, so yeah, that's what it'll look like. I have the model up here that I've ordered from Sculptio already. So there's the slot at the top for the um, flick switch and then there's the USB plug and the power switch there. And then there's the micro SD card slot, and then the uh, screen comes out the front, and then there's a little slot in the bottom for the uh, Qi wireless charging coil, and then a little um, slot right here in the bottom to let the wires go all the way through. Um, so these two halves snap together, um, and so when you assemble them, they'll be two separate parts, and then those two uh, kind of flexible protrusion snap into the top here and keep it all closed up and then this is supposed to fit a 22 millimeter watch band so that will just clip in here these holes in the uh, uh, side mounts and then that's going to look amazing when it's all put together uh, on both sides and then when that's strapped around your arm it'll clamp these two pieces together nice and tight and uh, stop things from falling out um, so I've, I've uh, ordered this in a polished black plastic so I think that's gonna look really cool and then uh, black Italian rubber for the watch bands I didn't want anything too complicated uh, simple and flat with a little ridge down the middle is what I ended up going with because it looked the best um, so yeah I've, I've spent a while measuring this all up um, what I always have to do is design something and then wait a few days because I remember things that come up afterwards like this slot I almost forgot uh, and then double triple check all my measurements so I've done all that uh, this is all good to go so I've ordered that from Sculptio which is cheaper than Shapeways and has a few less material options but you know it doesn't matter if you have if you're just going for plastic or ceramic it has all the major ones I could get it in platinum and, and pay twenty thousand dollars for it but that is not an option at this stage so uh, yeah I've started work on the um, full code for this as I said, the methods for uh, writing the font and things are all written. Um, so what I'll have to do now is um, this will display when you hit the side button at any time. When you raise it to your wrist, the accelerometer will measure that and show you your time face, uh, which will be a different display that's focused on the time and doesn't have the icons or anything. And then uh, as soon as you tilt your wrist back, that'll turn off. But if any time you, you press this button, it'll show you your backdrop and then have this animation come out. And then uh, you can scroll up and scroll down with this um, to see your notifications, to go through the compass, to see um, all the sensor data that you can get, and then uh, read all the messages from your phone. So the yeah, the antenna is right there. People were asking about where that was, right in the middle of that little gold um, gold stripes there. So uh, yeah, I'm super excited. Uh, I should have all of the case parts in. Uh, in two weeks and have this all put together to show you.